The royal family's 170-year history with kilts as William refuses to honor tradition. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock, please subscribe to stay updated with all latest updates from the British royal family. The royals have long celebrated their connection to Scottish life, even if the future monarch refuses to embrace the kilt. The royal family's love affair with Scotland, its culture and traditions has carried on through the generations, with many members of the royal family never seeing without tartan whenever they venture north of the border. However, one notable member of the company who refuses to indulge in the kilt is Prince William, who reportedly hates wearing it, to the chagrin of Scottish royal observers. The royals have a deep connection to Scotland, spending their summer holidays at Balmoral Castle each year, and also owning estates such as Birkhall and May Castle for more private retreats. It's not mandatory for the family to wear a kilt when in Scotland, but generations have chosen to do so, from King George V to the Queen's late father King George VI and of course Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. King Charles, William's father, seems to relish any opportunity to don tartan, as he did earlier this week at John O'Groats Eight Doors Distillery. Richard Kay explained in the Daily Mail, the Windsors observe a unique, if whimsical, set of house rules when it comes to how to dress in Scotland. Men wear kilts, not only on formal engagements but during off-duty moments as well. Even Princess Diana, who doesn't like Scottish things, used to show off a gesture, like Dam O'Shanter, to cheer up Celtic fringes. The Royal Steward Tartan, which dates back to at least the 1800s, has been popular with members of the royal family over the centuries, but the Balmoral Tartan is meant for the family to wear exclusively. Many say Prince Albert created the style shortly after he and Queen Victoria acquired Balmoral in 1853, and many other royals have continued to wear it after them. Charles has been seen wearing his kilt since he was a student at Gordonstone, the alma mater of many royals located in Moray. One event that presents the perfect opportunity for a family to enjoy a true Scottish day out is the Braemar Highland Gathering, where those without kilts are the ones who definitely look out of place. However, even on his first visit in 2005, William wore a navy blue lounge suit, and even though he went to the Scottish University of St Andrews, he chose not to wear a skirt when he graduated either. Still, William has made it clear over the years that Scotland holds a very special place in his heart, and his hatred of the wear doesn't extend to the rest of the country. During an inaugural address to the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland in 2021, the Prince said, Scotland is a source of some of my happiest memories but also of my sorrow. I was at Balmoral when I was told my mother had died. Still in shock, I found refuge in the service in Leeks Kirk that morning and in the dark days of grief that followed found comfort and solace in the Scottish outdoors. As a result, the connection I feel with Scotland will forever run deep. Thank you so much for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to press the bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video.